Okay, so recall the average formula AVG is equal to 1 over N times the sum of the N, of the, of N elements, big size. Okay, cool. Let's say I want to know what is the average of the N minus 1 elements. So AVG of N minus 1 is equal to 1 over n minus 1 times the sum of uh, ranging uh, of i ranging from 1 to n minus 1 xi okay here is the trick so i multiply this side by n minus 1 so i get n minus 1 times the average of n minus 1 elements equal to sum of i equal 1 to n minus 1 xi. Now I will add the xn element, nth element, to both sides. And divide by n. So I will get xn plus n minus 1 times the average of n minus 1 elements equal what is all this is exactly this formula equal the average of the nth element. Let's clear it up a little bit. So this is equal to xn divided by n. This is the new uh, element of the set plus avg n minus 1 times n divided by n this is go away, minus the a average of n minus 1 divided by n. So xn minus the previous average divided by n plus the previous average. So all we need to do in order to calculate the average in real time and not count for the all elements each time new data come, we need just to store two variables. The first one is the current average and the second one is the number of elements that we have up till now. Let's code it up. Okay, so I'm back to my notebook. I already uh, imported the necessary library and coop, uh, cooked up a small code that simulates uh, temperature data in real time. Let's run it and see how it looks. So uh, every second, a new uh, temperature data is coming in. So this is how it looks. Now, I want to calculate the average in real time. And, and I cannot afford holding uh, uh, the uh, entire set of this data because in real uh, time situation, this data uh, can keep coming for hours, days, weeks, months, and we cannot afford uh, such storage uh, uh, for uh, such type of data. So based on the formula that we developed, the new average equal to the new data minus the old, the previous average, divided by the number of elements plus the old average. Now, the only things it's left is to advance the number of variables that already has been uh, recorded. 
Now let's plot it. A V G and run. Awesome. Okay. So the again the blue line is the uh, real time temperature that keep coming, while the green line is the uh, average of the whole set of the temperature. And as you can see, it's uh, updating in real time. Awesome. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. If you're enjoying the video up till now, hit the subscribe button and place a like. If you're enjoying the video up till now, please subscribe, put a like. Put a like. If you're enjoying the video up till now, hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's move on to the little trick of computing the moving average when you have continuous time series data that uh, keep uh, coming 